In 2014, the enhanced version of Grand Theft Auto V was released for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and soon after it came to the PC. And it wasn't just focused on graphically improving the original title, it also featured a new, secret way of playing the game. We're referring to the 27 peyote plants that can be found throughout the Los Santos map that offer players the opportunity of stepping into the shoes of some pretty unique characters. If you consume the root of such a plant, you're going to experience intense hallucinations that will make you believe you are inhabiting the body of an animal. Depending on the area where you found the peyote plant, the critters you turn into can vary and, in the list below, we're going to unveil the best hidden characters that will definitely change the way you play GTA V. If your spirit animal is a dog, then you'll be happy to see the wide variety of pups featured in GTA V. Border Collie, Labrador, Husky, Poodle, Pug, Rottweiler and Terrier are all the breeds that you could transform into, offering you various possibilities when it comes to the shape-shifting into your favourite dog. This transformation will give you a full four-legged experience, barking and snarling at other dogs, but also at random passerbys. Be sure to be careful keeping the police out of your business, because turning into a fluffy terrier will not save you from taking responsibility for the crimes that you've committed. The world of GTA V can be explored from up high too, turning into a hawk, a seagull, a pigeon, a crow and even a cormorant, allowing you to discover totally new grounds. If life as a bird might seem like a piece of cake, carefree and totally laid back, you have to know that flying over restricted areas will still result in a wanted level that can only be resolved by ending the hallucination. But there is yet another option that offers you the chance to transform into a chicken, just in case you're into the more terrestrial kind of birds. Dolphins, random fish, killer whales, different types of sharks, and even stingrays can also be taken for a ride in the depths of the ocean. If you have ever wanted to explore the bottoms of the sea, to swim around reefs, corals, and sunken ships, then you probably should try to pay attention to the sounds that you hear around these areas where you find the peyote plants. Word has it that this is a hint towards the life form you're going to turn into. Of course, this could also be an urban legend, and transforming into a killer whale might be achievable only through a trial and error. The so-called land mammals category includes all kinds of four-legged creatures. Boars, cats, cows, coyotes, deers, mountain lions, pigs and rabbits, offering you a wide selection of mammals to choose from. Each and every one of them has its unique way of experiencing life, so you're in for a crazy adventure if you decide to try them all. The fun being the thing that you can interact with both animal NPCs and human beings. But be careful not to get into fights with your fellow wild siblings, because you're going to step into some nasty territory that will probably end with you dying and turning back into your human form. When you complete the entire game, including the last one side mission, and you find all of the 27 peyotes, some golden peyote plants will appear. They are available from 5.30 to 8 o'clock in the morning, and only on a snowy or foggy day. Also, these plants appear in different places every day of the week, but if you eat all of their roots in order from Sunday to Saturday, you'll turn into the legendary monster, Bigfoot. Becoming the Sasquatch will grant you increased strength and, on top of all of that, the ability to drive vehicles and use any dropped weapons exactly like when you're in your human form, so you can enjoy the best from both worlds. Similar to the Bigfoot transformation, a special easter egg allows you to take control of a creature that looks like the Teen Wolf character played by Michael J. Fox in the movie with the same name. After eating all of the peyote plants and turning into all of the possible living beings in the game, you'll have to complete the Golden Peyote Circle and then you'll arrive at the Thompson Scrapyard, where you'll need to fight the Teen Wolf that stands on top of a wrecked airplane. If you manage to defeat him in a fair fight, the hallucination will automatically end and the Teen Wolf Beast will be unlocked as a playable character. This was our list highlighting some hidden GTA 5 special characters that will pique your interest and we hope you've enjoyed our video. If you did, please press that like button as we do appreciate it and it helps us immensely. We often ask our audience for suggestions to compile these lists and if you'd like to contribute, please follow Frag Hero on Facebook. What other interesting characters did you come across? Do tell us about them in the comments below because we do try to read pretty much everything. Now would also be a great time to encourage you to subscribe because we upload new stuff all of the time so subscribing will keep you up to date with all of our latest videos. You can also check out FragHero.com for more gaming related articles, but until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.